what's up guys welcome back or to the channel and if you guys are subscribers to the channel or you've watched the channel before you're probably asking yourself why is this guy reviewing a scooter well this is a little bit different than your everyday electric scooter and once we get into it i'll show you but quickly it's an on-road and off-road scooter not not saying you're going to be doing rock crawling but you can definitely do a lot with it off-road and i'll be testing it off-road but for now Let's open her up, let's take a look at it quick, we'll go over the features, and then we'll get out there and we'll start testing it. So what we're looking at today is the GoTrax GX1. And this is a dual powered scooter, so dual motor or two wheel drive, however you want to look at it. And this guy is a 600 watt times two, so both wheels have a 600 watt motor. So it's a 1200 watt scooter, it is definitely a beast. There's a picture of it on the outside of the box. GX1. Now they do have a GX2 and a GX3. So this is the beginning of the, I would say advanced electric scooters because, or performance electric scooters, because this one will do up to 48 kilometers an hour, or I believe 35 miles per hour. So it definitely moves. It definitely has some pickup, but let's get her out of the box and let's see exactly what we got here. Okay, so the first thing we see is we have a couple boxes here and it looks like this is going to be the handlebars. Yeah. Let's put this aside. Sorry about the background noise guys. We are working in the garage today and yes, that is going to be our handlebars. So I think we can lock it into place. Okay, so she's locked into place. Now, I think what we'll do is unbox all of this, get the handlebars installed, and then take it out of the box like that. So when you first open everything up, you have the scooter, and this is just all covered in a little bit of foam wrapping, which we took off already. And then underneath those two boxes, which contain your charger, a four mil Allen wrench, the adapter so that you can better charge, or not better, so you can get an easier reach to your uh, valve stem on your tires, the instruction booklet, as well as a few warnings. And that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna take these four screws out with the four mil Allen wrench, and we're gonna position our handlebars into place and that way we have everything assembled because that's the only assembly required then we'll be able to take it out of the box and we'll be good to go or actually we'll be good to go and charge it because you need to charge it up fully before going out but that's not a big deal once you get this little plate off set it aside and there is two alignment pins right there which correspond with the handlebar so you can't really get it wrong once you pop them in and you get it on there which would be right about oh uh, i guess i'm gonna need two hands but basically yeah align those two pins on there put the cover back and we'll take her out of the box i do have to say though i'm pretty surprised at how nice this allen wrench is that they give you because out of all the other things that i've bought in my life you've never really gotten proper tools and this one is actually like a legitimately good allen wrench I'm not gonna complain about it at all and I'm pretty impressed with that headlight so far too. It looks cool. If it performs half as good as it looks, then we're in business. But I'm gonna finish up these screws, get this nice and tight. I'll take it out of the box and I'll give you guys, whoop, that, that was me, not the wrench. And I'll give you guys a couple of the features and then we'll go charge it up. And there she is. And now that we've got it out of the box, you can see that full suspension in the front and you can really tell that this thing is definitely made for something different. So we're gonna take it off-road and test it out and see how she does. I actually can't wait for that, but our first test will be on-road. And I do like that this has a nice bright light, which I've already tested out for myself, but we'll see better at night. It also has the blue lights on the side, as well as on the front, just for added visibility as well as a tail light, which also doubles as a brake light. So when you hold the brake, you get the flash. 
and honestly, it looks great. It has really beefy tires on it. It's got great looking suspension, front and back. So you'll see when I'm riding it, the actual back also has suspension. Uh, I don't know how to show it to you right now, but the swing arm basically rides on that shock and yeah. So let's give you guys a few of the quick specs on this thing and then we'll be able to go out, take it for a ride and see exactly what it'll do. So it does have a 40 kilometer range and a 48 kilometer per hour top speed. It has a 330 pound weight rating. It can also ride up slopes up to 20 degrees with ease and it can do a lot of different terrain from on-road to off-road and it can accommodate riders from four foot seven to six foot two so i'm six foot one and i'll tell you guys just standing on it and sitting seeing it i was going to say sitting on it just standing on it and seeing it and seeing the ergonomics of it it fits me perfectly fine so i'm sure somebody even taller than six two could ride it but that's what they state so now let's go charge it up let's see what this thing can do the dual 600 watt motors are definitely going to be powerful and i'm definitely going to be wanting my full battery charge to test those out so let's go give this thing a full charge and we'll get out there and see what it can do and we're back now we did charge it all up get everything ready to go and i did ride it here so we are already at four bars but i have been riding it around quite a bit you can see the odometer is at 113 kilometers so that goes to show you how much I've enjoyed this thing and how good this thing actually is because I do own a couple other scooters as I've mentioned and this one is by far the most fun and not just because it's the fastest it also has awesome suspension so you're not worried about anything when you're out there it flexes over anything you can go off of curbs you can take jumps and yeah I haven't done much off-road testing I have done a light little off-road trail here but we're gonna do some more off-road testing after. Right now, I'm just gonna go for a ride with you guys, show you guys the different modes, go through the different speeds, and just let you know what the different settings are. Because, well, actually, that's one of the reasons why I took it for a ride that many times and put that many kilometers on it, is I wanted to get familiar with it so I could tell you guys exactly how it works and if it's good or bad. And it actually has blown away my expectations. This thing is really fun and the build quality on it is great so so far i'm super impressed now enough talking let's hop on and let's go for a ride now i hope the wind doesn't drown my noise my voice out okay so whenever you want to get going you always want to take it out of park by pressing up or down on the gear selector and here you have turbo mode so you'll see both of these will start flashing when turbo mode is activated and right now we'll leave turbo mode off and we'll go through the gears without it but you can engage it in any gear and get yourself a little bit of extra power so for now let's just go in the regular mode and we'll go in the slowest mode and let's go oh and before you get going you do have to take it out of park so now we can go and you can see even in the slowest mode it it's got pull so it'll top out at 25 kilometers an hour but it definitely gets you there quick and it definitely has the power so both of your motors are always engaged and you do have a bell so if you do see people you can always warn them, which is super nice because on my other scooter, you don't really have a bell. You have a beeping button and people don't always understand what the beeping means. So let's go into the next mode up, which would be drive. And this mode will take you to 35 kilometers an hour. And since there's some people here at the soccer field, we'll turn around and I'll show you guys the third mode, which will take you guys all the way up to 48 kilometers an hour or 30 miles per hour. So we'll go into sport mode. And let's go. So we'll just pass this person first so we don't blast past them. And 
you can see it picks up quite quick. And we reached about 42 right there. So now we're gonna turn around and we'll leave it in sport mode, but we're going to put it into turbo as well. So we have the full power, the full 1200 watts. The dual 600 watt motors will be screaming. Well, not literally, but uh, we'll definitely be going faster. So now when we put into turbo, into turbo mode, let's get around these people. Oh, you can see it's already, yeah, it, it just lifted the front wheel. So now you can see we're really moving. So let's get around this person again so we don't blast past them. And we'll go from a dead stop, just so you guys can see exactly how quick this thing accelerates. So I'm not sure if you can see the actual speedometer while we're riding, but I'll call out the numbers. So let's go. Oh yeah, let's do it. 30. 36, 40, 45, 48. And we're moving, like it gets there quick. Whew. And it's stable, like we're going 45 right now, just cruising without the throttle on. And it doesn't have any sort of uh, like regen to it where it, it drags and it makes you feel like you're getting dragged, like you're slowing down. So a lot of the other scooters that I've ridden, you can put regen on and it just, it feels different. This feels really nice. I actually like this a lot because you can let off the throttle and still cruise. But you can see like, it's definitely got power. Like if we go from a dead stop, <laughs> she wants to pull. So this thing definitely has some power. Now there's a light off-road section here, nothing crazy, but Let's go over there and let's see exactly what this thing can do on that. So for the off-road loop, we will leave it in turbo mode, but we're gonna put it into moderate because we don't wanna go too fast. We wanna be able to control ourselves a little bit more and we don't need to be going 48 kilometers per hour on the dirt and on the gravel. So there is a little bit of a track here, nothing crazy, but there is a bit of a hill as well. And we'll take this part, which is the steepest, and you can see it does it with ease. And it is a bit bumpy out here, which you can probably hear in my voice, but like it definitely soaks it up. And depending on how you position yourself, if you lean back like this, or if you lean forward, you definitely get a different suspension feel. So leaning back will definitely give you a nice cushy ride. And like, I'm talking about cushy because even riding a bicycle out here is pretty hectic. And the brakes are awesome. Like they actually really grip. Dual discs front and back are really what every scooter this power needs and it feels great so if you really need to stop even here on the gravel you can see she really stops and it's very confidence inspiring having those brakes you can honestly even here on the gravel do an endo oh man <laughs> usually i don't let go but my hands got a little bit sweaty there but you can see you can do an endo lift up the back end of the scooter and it grips, it definitely grips. So it's a lot of fun. And we will take it on a little bit of a different off-road track. There is like a mountain bike track around here. And we'll take that out and we'll take this out and we'll see exactly how it does out on the mountain bike trails. But for now, We'll put it back in the sport and we'll go for a little boot because why not? And it handles nice. Like you can pretty much ride around at full speed if you can uh, take the corners.
So yeah, it definitely rides well. It definitely is a lot of fun. And I will tell you guys right now, it has great range. You can see after all of that, we're still sitting at four bars, which is amazing. So even with using all that power, going off road, ripping on it, it still has tons of juice left in it. So honestly guys, I'm super happy with it. If you guys wanna see more, stay tuned because we're gonna go take it on some better off-road tracks and on an actual mountain bike trail and see what it can do there. But so far, I'm really impressed. All right, so now we're gonna do a range test. I've got the scooter charged up. I haven't turned it on yet since I've taken it out. And you can see we are at a full charge. Now we're gonna leave it in moderate or whatever the M stands for because there's M, drive and sport. So we will leave it in moderate and we will not be turning on the turbo right now. So we're gonna leave it like this. And the odometer is at 120. So just in case it does, cause I will be stopping to take a drink and this and that, just in case it does reset, cause the scooter does turn itself off after about a minute or two of no activity and the trip will reset itself. So right now we're at 120. In case the trip resets itself, we'll know exactly how much mileage we get. But let's go for a drive. I'm gonna leave it in those settings the entire time and we'll see how far we can get. All right, so now we gotta put it in gear and we're off. Now, I will be riding on bike paths the entire time and when you're in moderate, you're limited at 25. So that's our limit right there. But once you hit a certain speed and you hold it for about five to 10 seconds, you will hit a cruise control. So now you can let go and you can kind of just cruise. If you do hit the throttle again, you get out of cruise control or if you hit any of the brakes or any of the buttons. So it's quite easy to get out of cruise control and hopefully you don't end up in a jam. But I do have kind of a cool destination for us once we get to our destination and we have to turn around. And I do have a little bit over 30 kilometers planned for us. So we will be testing just how far we can get. Hopefully we can go around 40, but I don't wanna go too far in one direction and get stuck. So we will be coming back and then if we can, we'll keep cruising around here just to see how far we can get out of one battery. And I'll update you guys every time one bar goes down. So let's keep cruising and let's see how far we can get. And just now, as we're climbing this big hill here, you can see, hold on, let me stop just so you can kind of get an idea of how big this hill is. But it's a nice long steep hill and we've just, just come down one bar but not to worry i have taken this on some longer trips and some longer journeys before you can see it still wants to peel tires even in the lowest power mode i have taken this on some longer trips and some longer treks and it definitely does make it so not to worry guys not to worry let's keep on going well now we're at one of the more scenic parts of the trail and we are sitting at seven kilometers and still have four bars so not too bad. That first bar usually goes down a little bit quicker than you would like, but to be honest with you guys, it doesn't really affect the mileage. I'm not sure how the display is set up, but right now we still have plenty of juice and I'm not worried about any kind of range anxiety or anything. I'm pretty sure it will be more than fine to do up to 40 kilometers, especially in this setting. We're not using much power, 25 kilometers an hour, just cruising. But 25 kilometers an hour, if you have to think about riding a bicycle or something, it's still pretty quick. So this is still cruising pretty good. And we'll definitely get out there and hit some off-road trails if we see any, but I'm not too sure if there's gonna be any today. So we're still at four bars, but the reason I stopped is because I wanted to show you guys something cool. Recently, we've been getting some really, really torrential rains. And you can see there's a creek all the way in there. Like it's, it's just in there. All this foliage here has all been pushed down, even on top of this little hill, all the way up until there. Because that creek, which maybe I can show you guys if I walk over here, that creek flooded all the way out to here. It was pretty nuts. A lot of the people that were out in parks took videos and it was like waist deep here where I'm standing. So yeah, there's the creek just over there. And you can see it came all the way over here, probably a good, say almost 100 yards like 100 meters but yeah let's get back on the go tracks and let's continue on our journey but 
this is an awesome trail. I really enjoy coming out here and riding a scooter like this, when you're bored and you have nothing to do, you hop on the scooter and you get to go explore different places that are close by that you've probably never seen before and you get to see some cool stuff. So let's keep going, let's keep riding and let's see how far we can get because to be honest, this thing is a beast. Some of the other things that I really enjoy about this scooter are the wide deck. Like it is actually super wide. I have size 12 feet and I'm more than fit. Like, yeah, it's, it's great. I really like the hand grips. The hand grips are super comfortable. They're really grippy and the throttle is actually awesome. I love the placement of it. I love the way it feels and there's not much to complain about like even their wire management for everything is super super nice everything is super clean tucked away nothing to complain about at all and you can really take some nice tight turns you'll see here because of the wide tires you can really get it to lean and it leans over pretty nice it's just a pleasure to ride honestly i love this thing Well, and it seems like our path is blocked. We are at kilometer 11 on our trip. We're still sitting at four bars, but because of the flood, the bridge has been uh, compromised. You can see it's been washed away here, probably washed away on the other side. And yeah, good times. So we'll keep cruising. Don't worry, our range test isn't over. We'll still keep going and see exactly how many kilometers we can get out of this battery, but I won't be able to show you guys our cool destination, which I won't ruin because maybe we'll get there another day. But um, yeah, let's keep going. And I guess we'll have to turn around at this point. And you can see <laughs> it's pretty uh, broken up on that bridge too fortunately that one was still open but yeah what are you gonna do oh and it's not much but there's a little bit of a dirt trail here So it can do off-roading, it's not made for rock crawling, but you can definitely go off-road, hit some rocks, hit some mud, some gravel, some sand, and you'll definitely get through it. And now at kilometer 13, we just went down to three bars. So we'll keep on going, see uh, when we hit the next bar. So we are still at three bars, but I thought I would show you guys the walk mode button. So I'm not holding the throttle, there's a button right here with a little person on it. When you press and hold it, it puts you into walk mode so it limits you at about six to seven kilometers per hour and you basically just cruise like you're walking with somebody and yeah it's kind of cool in the sense that if you are walking with your friends and they're not on scooters you can kind of walk with them and it's quick enough that you can still kind of whip it around if you need to and you'll see we might just catch up to this person walking now because yeah we're pretty much going the same speed but yeah, that's all that is. It's pretty cool in case you have to move it or take it with you through a center, like a walking like speed. If you want to go through a mall or wherever, it has that cool feature. So you don't have to keep pressing the throttle and guess. And we just hit 21 kilometers and we just went down to two bars. So we're sitting at 40% now, so not too bad. Let's keep going and hopefully we can get probably closer to in the 30s or closer to 40. I am 6'1", I weigh 170 pounds and there is a lot of hills where we are. So that comes into play. But at the end of the day, this thing gets great mileage. And now we are at 27 kilometers on our trip and we just hit one bar and you can see it is dark out here. So I turned the lights on I'll pull over in just a second so you guys can get a better look at them. 
but it is definitely a nice day for a ride so let's take a quick look at how these lights look in the dark because they look awesome so you've got a light on either side and you've got the light on the front as well as your headlight which is positionable and your tail light so you're definitely lit up and well seen on this thing but let's keep rolling well i stopped for a minute the mileage went back up or sorry the uh the battery went back up we are at 30 kilometers so far because we're at 150 but our trip reset so we'll keep riding right now see exactly how far we can get but it looks like the battery had a minute to cool down that's why it started reading a little bit higher again which is good get a little bit more mileage and there we just went down one more so we're at 31 kilometers full trip now let's see how far we can get before that last bar starts to blink and the last bar just started flashing we're at 158 and we're going by the odometer now instead of the trip because i stopped 10 kilometers ago and uh, it reset itself so we're at 158 the bar is flashing i'm gonna keep riding until i get home because uh yeah we're not home yet but the lights are awesome on this thing and the headlight definitely definitely helps a lot like on camera i don't know how well it shows up but in real life it is amazing so let's keep going i'm starting to lose my voice because i've been out here so long 40 kilometers or 38 kilometers on the scooter is definitely a good ride so let's keep going and let's see what we're at once we get home well i think we've reached the limit because now it's slowing down to a walking speed but we are at 162 so that means we have done a total of 42 kilometers which is pretty amazing so we've done 42 kilometers it's now blinking i have not taken it out of moderate and i have not put it into turbo the entire time so i'm really impressed they say you can get 40 kilometers and we just got 42 so i'm going to call that a successful trip and a successful range test now i'm going to take this thing back in because i did actually make it back home luckily enough for me and yeah i think that's gonna cover this range test for now and here we are for our final test on some loose surface some dirt some gravel and basically anything that we could find so we are out here there is some different kinds of biking trails there are some hiking trails and we'll go out and experience whatever we can but with the two-wheel drive it definitely does make it through a lot easier and it is a beast just getting in here and having a little bit of fun coming in i can definitely tell this thing is going to be a lot of fun off-road so let's go let's find some good trails in here because i haven't really explored this too much so let's go out there and see what we can find now for today i think we'll be leaving it in drive just to have a little bit more power on the loose surface here and we will be engaging turbo mode so let's go yeah it's definitely a lot of fun out here this is some hard packed gravel so it's a lot easier to ride out here but i believe if we turn around we'll be able to find some actual off-road paths that are more dirt and a little bit more technical so let's go this way and see what we can find now i think i'm going to turn the power down back to 25 kilometer an hour to moderate and i will leave it in turbo mode just because we don't want to be going too fast when it gets technical but you still want to be able to have full use of your throttle so that's why i'm leaving it a little bit slower so we don't go crazy out there like i said i haven't explored these trails yet so i don't know exactly what to expect so let's see what we can find sorry So these are more hiking trails where we are now, as you can see, but I think we can find ourselves a bike path somewhere. Oh, there we go. 
you can see bike tracks here. So I think we're on the right track. No pun intended there. Yeah, there's definitely some downhill bike tracks over here, but I don't think I'm gonna be taking it off of one of these. Uh, it's a little bit steep. So let's see what else we can find around here. The two wheel drive definitely helps a lot out here. And the suspension is nice, especially when going over all these routes. Oh yeah, look at that. She does a bit of crawling. Little bit of mud. It does it all. Oh, that was me. I lost my balance there, but. Oh, will we make this? Look at that. Look at that, guys. So, like I said, it's not made for going and rock crawling, but you can definitely make it through some tough terrain. And you definitely want to be careful of those rotors. So those rotors are going to be your lowest point right there. And that's the only one thing that you're going to really touch if you do touch anything. So yeah, be careful about the rotors. We're going to try to climb this hill, starting with this one and then that one up there. See uh, how far we get. Put her into moderate, still leave it in turbo. Let's see. Oh, not quite. I guess we'll have to take this way. It's smooth from here, so we should be able to make it. Come on, come on. Come on, oh, it wanted it. It just couldn't find grip. If I carried some speed up this, I'd be able to make it, but that's all right. Now I saw another trail a little bit further away, somewhere over there in that direction. Okay, found the next part of the trail. Continues on right down this way. So we'll go explore that. There is some bike paths also down there that I can see. And yeah, there's like a creek. There's a whole bunch of different stuff around here. So it should be pretty cool. Now let's go, let's hit it and see what we can find. Because I'm pretty sure this side should have some more interesting stuff to see than the other side. I think I found the next part of the trail. Come on, come on. Oh, we got stuck in that little divot there. Right around here, under the tree. Okay, and I found another hill climb. So, let's go. Oh yeah, this one I think we can do. Come on, come on, find traction. You can do it. Oh, yes. Oh, I lost my balance a couple times there. But, look at that, we made it. I'd say that was a success, even though I did lose my balance twice, but we made it. Well, until you come up to a tree, it's a lot of fun out here. Let me tell you that, this thing, definitely holds its own off-road.
tons of fun. Like this thing is a riot. Now, I think I'm gonna have to end off the video here because we've pretty much done all the testing we can. This thing is a ton of fun. I have to say it more than exceeded my expectations. I don't have anything bad to say about it at all. So definitely, if you guys are in the market for one of these, I should have a discount code for you down in the description. Go check them out. They make some awesome machines. Like you can even hear, I'm out of breath right now. <laughs> so yeah, like this thing is awesome. It's a ton of fun. And honestly guys, I wouldn't be sharing products with you if I didn't think they were good quality and good products and be useful to you and me. So definitely go check them out. Thank you guys today for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please jump down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, give this video a share, and we'll be back to off-roading in the Jeep in no time. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then guys, ride safe out there. Peace.